welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I just dropped off a couple of pieces of sand that I got in the last episode. Now we're going to do some more surveying of the land and flattening of the sugar cane. We're going to take a look at maybe go into the Tetris pieces that were near uh, the sugar cane spot island now. Now we're going to plant a couple of sugar canes there. Now we're going to go towards the zero zero base. Excuse me. And we're going to plant sugar cane there. And survey the land. Alright, there's my target. There's the Tetris piece. And just a bunch of land surveys. It'll probably be a couple of episodes, a couple of weeks for you all. But hey, it's content. I need content. But I can show you what the island looks like thanks to third person mode. Thanks to my impact hacks. And this is what the island looks like with the sugar cane. Well, nearly 11 stacks. There's another slidey piece over there that I'll consider. I have lots of little islands to get a hold of and get done, so let's head in that direction and let's get that little other Tetris piece that will slidey bit and do that. We must get all the available spots. Was it out? Well, it wasn't that far. Alrighty, this little sandbar will now be a sugarcane bar. Alrighty, now let's go to zero zero. And plant around there. This is a big chunk of land. I'll do this little hill outcropping rock too. Why not? And gotta get content. Content is useful. It doesn't have to necessarily be the best, you just have to have content. <laughs> Well, at least I do. I don't recommend YouTube as a career. That almost never will a successful YouTuber tell you they recommend YouTube as a career. At all. Alright, let's get more stack in here. Get things done. Oh, this wasn't a... Uh, as big or as needed as I thought it was going to be. I knew it wasn't going to be super big. Alright. I don't want to do the front side or the back side. Let's start the front side. Just might as well survey everything. We got to do it. Know what your land looks like. Know what's going on with it. Alrighty. More progress, more progress, more progress. Progress is good. Progress is always good. As long as it's forward, any progress is good progress. It's a good, it's a good model. I highly recommend it. Oh, it's getting dark again. Oh, I can't place it on clay. Clay, you are useless to me. Double stacking, you were useless to me. But I'm actually very close to zero zero, so I can just easily go sleep. Even though I've got very little to worry about. Very, very little. Yeah, let's go sleep. Let's, let's enter the tunnel. 
can get to the bed and go to sleep. There we go. It's not a sweet grade. Sugar cane loaded into the last slot, mostly because it's useful to me. And let's continue on our journey. Is that a fall name or did I get hit and somebody had a bad day? Huh. Well, at some point in a future video, I'll explain. Now mods are having bad days. Uh, I'll explain it. <laughs> Everything will become clear. It's gonna be a bit. Maybe even this chunk of land is huge. I believe it circles around too. Let's have a little bit of a aerial view. Yeah, that's gonna circle around. I can't see too far beyond. Maybe the backside would have been a better idea, but I don't know. Just to keep on going, keep on going. Yes, am I not this boring task that has to be done regardless? Oh, that skill is gonna have a bad day. Gonna have a bad day. Well, maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe he heard what he had to do with friends. He's not gonna try it. Somebody may try it. It's probably not gonna be him. I'm probably not in his range. Oh yeah, alright. On to another stack. Another stack. More monotonous. Monotonous. It's got to be done. It's got to be done no matter what, but I need content. Because I am not interested. I barely know how to build. And I need to serve that land. It's a nice beach. A really nice beach. This is going to take an ungodly amount of sugar cane to sort. Ah, here it is, look at this. Is it getting dark again? No, it's not. Is it raining? No, it's not raining. Oh, it says I'm on a swamp land, even though I'm on a beach. No, well, that's what happens when terrain changes. Well, biomes change. This is beta 1.7.3. Terrain. This is long before swamps and all that. So I probably, I, it, you know, that helps too. This is probably where a lot of, and I see them, where a lot of spot, the slimes are going to spawn because they like to spawn in mean, swamp land. So I'll probably end up having to deal with them and I'll we'll build a slime farm at some point. That's one of the tests. I, you know, I need to build a a signboard, a to-do list. That's something I really should do. That'll be helpful. Things to do. I don't think I've got multiple sign variants in release 1.12.2, so I don't think I can use that method, and I definitely don't have glow squid, so I cannot make glow ink. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But I know I'm going to use signs. The signs will be easy to see, walk past, that stuff. Easy to check, check in with you guys, show it to you, show your progress. Yada yada yada. Things to do. Things that are just filler stuff that may end up being content. Because I'm just a stalling. 
that hack. It, it is what it is. These are really nice parts. I really like the Beta 1.7.3 terrain. It is where I started. Mind you, it is where I started. That was back in 2011. I'm a very old Minecraft player. Let me see if I can show you. Oh well, no, I can't. Let me see if I can show you with F5. Yes, I can show you with F5. I have the Migrate Kit. Because I got my account long before uh, the Bedrock and Java version were given out when you bought a Minecraft account. Long before Microsoft uh, bought Mojang and Minecraft. So that's just, I'm a very old player. And before it was migrated to the Microsoft account. That, that's kind of what brought me back into Minecraft was... I wanted to do this since the beginning, but to show all the terrain changes and build in every version of the terrain as the terrain changed. But I quit playing for a little while after like beta not beta, but release 1.2 or 1.3, somewhere in there, where they, where they released the jump. I stopped playing after that, after I changed computers, and I wanted to come back in 1.13, but I forgot my login credentials, so I had to go dig out my original receipt, lost in my emails somewhere for my Mojang account. And I didn't get back into Minecraft again until Migration. That was in 2021? Yeah, the, well, 2020 actually. The winter of 2020 was when it was mandatory to migrate. So, I sorted out all my credentials and I managed to migrate. And... Now I'm making content for YouTube and you all. Yeah, probably nearly nobody watches this, but hey. Well, it's content. But that's where I started. I'm a very old Minecraft player. I'm not I'm not a ground floor Minecraft player, but I am an OG Minecraft player. I know the, the OG Minecraft players are the Goods, the Kirk J Mac. The, uh, the Paul Source Juniors, the C Nanners, those are the old, those are the ground floor. Those are the people who got people into Minecraft and did tutorials and just showed the game. I'm just, I bought the account. I release 1.0. When one beta 1.7.3 was still being offered. That's not a drum one, one, but hey. Oh yeah. I'm I'm an old school player. And I'm nearly out of sugar cane. But I've made a lot of progress, that's for damn sure. There's a lot of progress you can make in a single Minecraft day. A lot. Speaking of single Minecraft days, there was an old challenge that Good showed called the 404 Challenge. I had to... It was in beta Minecraft. And you had you sp you entered the seed 404, and you spawned on a gravel beach, and you had to gather as much resources as you could before the sun went down. And as soon as sun went down on that 
uh, first day, you had to uh, break the gravel beach and go down. But you you had to go all the way to the bottom of the cave. But you could not use any torches. But you could use jack o' lanterns, and you had to survive and make a life and build a base. Oh, that, that that was a fun challenge watching. All right, we did quite a bit. Gonna have to get a hell of a lot more. How big is this island? I mean, I know it's big. How big is this island? Well, I'm here by the Cross Chunk Expressway, so I'm gonna climb up there and get a look to see if I can find where the edge of the island is. That way I know how much further I have to go. Now it's getting dark and it's in the edge. And you've had a bad day. And the spider's gonna think wiser. Alright, here's the edge of the island. This is all beta 1.7.3. Oh, those spiders didn't think better. But they had a bad day. My armor durability shows up because of impact client hacks. It'll show your armor durability for each armor piece above your food bar. So, that's what that is if you were wondering and how I did that. I also had uh, mob griefing off in the NBT uh, editor with the NBT editor and the level dot dot, I, I turned off mob griefing just so creepers can't ruin my day. Creepers are a headache. So we're gonna go to sleep, or we're probably gonna call it an episode. But, uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and if you feel so inclined, you can subscribe to my Patreon. It's only five dollars a month. You get access to the videos one day early, you get uh, producer credit, and you get to help me build and design things in my world. But only if you're a Patreon subscriber. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.